In this tutorial we'll be creating this particle flow effect using After Effects but without any plugins. So this was inspired by the Galaxy Ring video which was obviously done with Particular I believe but I wanted to recreate this in After Effects without any plugins. So let's get into it. Now I'll create a new solid for our particle layer and we'll call this particles and I'll be using an effect called CC Particle World and here I'll go into the grid and guides here and disable all of these because we do not need them. And right now, if I play this back, it just emits a bunch of particles from the center point. So we'll increase the birth rate to maybe five and that will create more particles. Now I'll go into my producer here and drag the Y axis onto the top. Let's set it to minus 0.5. And on my radius, I'll set them all to 0.5 on all three. And we'll go down into the physics here and we don't wanna change the animation preset, but we'll set the velocity to zero and increase the gravity to maybe one. Let's close this down and we'll go into the particle and change the particle type from line to faded sphere. Now I've got these spheres falling across the screen here and we can go into the birth size and let me set this to 0.05 on both of them. The size variation we can set to maybe 80 and also the max opacity, let's set it to 80. Now we can choose two colors here, so it's sort of driven like a gradient. So maybe set this to purple and this one would be kind of blue. And that is basically it for the particle effect. Let's close this down and we'll add an echo effect. So under the time here, let's set it to minus 0.02. And on my number of echoes, I'll set this to five. So we basically got these particle streaks following the main particle. And you don't need to lower down the time here because once we turn on motion blur, you can see that we're getting these nice streaks from our particles and it's not too heavy. So this is our basic particle effect, which we're gonna be working with now. Now do keep in mind that you can go into the particle world here and under the producer set a different radius and this way you can control this in all sorts of directions you can also create a camera and rotate it for example if you want it to come from a different angle so just in case you're making this come out of a ac or something this is how i would recommend doing it now going back to our main setup here i will pre-compose this move all the attributes and here i'll create a black background and to give the particles this formation that they are coming from upwards towards the screen, we're gonna be using an effect called Bezier Warp. Now I'll go over to this icon here and select Proportional Grid. So we've got some of these guidelines here. Now I'm gonna grab this point here, holding down Shift and drag it to this area. And I'll take this curve and drag it like so. And this one, let's maybe drag it up to here. And I'll do the same thing on this side, just dragging them sort of in a symmetrical way, just like that. Okay, now let's go back here and disable the grid. Now, I did say no plugins on this one, but obviously if you're using Deep Glow, you should go ahead and apply it. But if not, you can apply the default glow. For this one, I'm gonna be using Deep Glow just for the sake of the tutorial. So just quickly add in a glow on top of this whole thing here. And this is how you can create this type of effect. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.